Okay, this next video is a little bit just on the, what is the slope of a line? What does it refer to? What does it mean? The general uh, formula that we use is a rise over a run. Okay, we call the slope of a line M. So whenever you see the letter M, we're referring to slope. And think of it as a little rise over a run. You run across, in this case, seven, and you hop in your hot air balloon, and you rise up pl plus five. So in this case, we would say that uh, M, your slope, is your rise number, that's how much you, you went up, over top of your run number. And since positive divided by positive is positive, we say that this is a positive 5, 7 slope. Okay. One thing to look at, you will see that I am very, very strict on this with my own self, is I will always draw this triangle underneath the line. Here is the line here. So I'm always going to draw this triangle underneath the line. And uh, if that's the case, this number 5 appears in my diagram over top of the 7. And in my fraction, the 5 will be over top of the 7. It's absolutely consistent that way. So just get in the habit of drawing that triangle always underneath the line. Now, if you want to look at all possible slopes, here is a neat little diagram to look at. This is my slope man. A line going in this direction we call a negative slope. A line going in that direction, like the one I just drew, is a positive slope. A line going straight up and down is undefined. And a line going absolutely horizontal, we said, has a zero slope. By the way, sometimes what we'll say to, about the undefined slope is that there is no slope. Okay, the slope does not exist. Here, the slope does exist, and the slope is equal to zero. So make sure that you understand the difference between zero slope and no slope. So, if a, I happen to see on a graph that a line comes through like that, I can find a point on the line, and I can find another point on the line. It doesn't matter where you find them. And I count how many squares down I go, and how many squares I cross I go. So I make a little right triangle there. And let's pretend that I got one, two, three, four squares down, and that I've gone one, two, three, four, five squares over. Okay. I first of all put down uh, a negative sign because I know it's a negative slope. And then the four appears higher than the five in my diagram, so I put the four higher than the five in my answer. And there is the slope of this line, negative four fifths. The thing I always get in the habit of doing is putting in the sign, first of all, is it a negative slope or a positive slope? Now let's look at this line that comes across here. Let's pretend that I've gone down 2 there, and I've gone across 10. Okay. Well, the slope, first of all, I notice it's a positive slope. So I put down a positive sign. That way I'm always sure of getting the proper sign in front of my fraction. I notice that the 2 is higher than the 10, so I put the 2 higher than the 10. Now, at Kelsey, and in most schools, you have no fat fractions. They all get sent through a reducing machine. So just like that, you should divide the top by 2 and divide the bottom by 2. So your final answer is going to be positive 1 over 5, or you could just write 1 over 5. You don't really need the plus sign in front. It's assumed to be positive if it's not there. But if it's negative, you had better put it in. And I don't know if I can emphasize this enough. Put the sign of your slope in first. 
and then you don't have to worry about it. Okay, now lastly, if you happen to have a line going straight across, like this baby, then you say that the slope here equals zero. Okay, for this line going straight across. There is my x-axis, there is my y-axis. If you have a line going straight up and down, Okay, then we call its slope undefined, or we could say it's an infinite slope, okay, uh, or we'll say that there is no slope, it doesn't even exist, okay, so usually we'll say undefined, but you could see any one of those three other situations. So slopes are either negative, slopes are positive, or slopes are vertical, in, in which case they're undefined, or horizontal, in which case the slope is zero.